Hello, Mutable Signs. Thank you for coming back, joining me on today. Wednesdays with I Am The Garden Woman. Okay? I am about to start off with the Tibetan singing bowl so that we can dive into what the universe has to deliver unto you today. I just received a lot of messages okay and as I was prepping for y'all the first card already came out which is the ace of wands so y'all need to stand firm in the position that you are in accept what you cannot change and move Forward along your path. Accept what you can't change and move forward along your path. Try not to let your past stop you from being in your present moment. What else do we have for them, my divine higher self? What do we have for the mutable signs today? Thank you. Releasing what isn't yours will bring you what is meant for you. No longer will you have to hold on to things that do not benefit you. Do your best when it comes to self-care. Acknowledge yourself. Acknowledge your wrongs hold yourself accountable for your actions be open to more guidance okay many messages in one so take whatever resonates <laughs> okay next we have queen of cups never let go of what is for you some things may come masked in disguise. Use your great discernment to understand what's in front of your face and what you should do with it. Try not to hinder yourself because of your past experiences. Everyone goes through trauma. Everyone goes through lessons. That is how life works. For some of you, you need to be open to new love because it is coming ashore. <laughs> Water, the shore. It's coming ashore. What else do we have for them today? My higher self. What other messages? Giving in to prosperity, learning that life is exactly what you make it out to be. Try to love yourself more. Maybe some of you need to buy yourself flowers or surround yourself with the color yellow and orange and red. Okay, yellow is a solar plexus and it helps us relate to the world around us. Red is sacral chakra. And it is the sensuality within us. Red is our base chakra. And it helps us 
with holding responsibility for our own self. Okay. Some of you also need to purify your homes. Okay, you see this white horse. Now, just the color of white in general is also a color of purification. Okay. Yes, some of you need to purify your homes, purify the air, maybe get an air purifier, get some your Santa, some sage, some smudge sticks, open up your windows, do what you feel called to do. I'm just throwing a few things out there. Okay, page of pentacles. Try your best to acknowledge your past as you look back on it. Acknowledge everything that you've gone through. All of it. And this will hold you in the position to be able to move forward. Mm. Some of you are in this, I got this song that came in my head. Look back at it, look back at it, <laughs> look back at me. Some of you have been reminiscing on sexual moments with someone who you just were amazed with sexually. Y'all had a great sexual relationship. And some of you are missing that. Uh, you're missing that right now in your lives. Can't find any can't find anyone that did it like that person did. Interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Where are we at? Nine of Wands. Don't let heartbreak take you away from the love of yourself. Try to focus on the things that are still standing in your life that are still present. The people that are still in your life, the people that are present and leave behind the past. As this journey moves on, so should your mind. Release your mind of entrapments of the past. Things that don't push you forward. Release your mind of things that don't push you forward. What do we have next? For them on this lovely Wednesday, my higher self, the hanged man. Open up your mind to receive information. It's going to feel like a blessing. Open up your mind to receive the pathway that you are being guided on. You can't see it until you can see it within yourself. You can't see it outward until you can see it within yourself. Try not to stay hung up on old situations. Yes, that's, that's that's a strong message. It's a strong, it's a strong message, okay? Because it keeps coming up. <laughs> What's next, my divine spirit? Be willing to move forward with those who are willing to move forward with you. You don't have to force any connections to remain. You don't have to force anything to try to stay into your life. Just let what needs to fall away, fall away. And let what needs to rise up, rise up. Immutable signs. Next, we have Ten of Wands. Some of you are packing or need to start packing because you will be taking a trip soon, going away soon, a mini vacation. Once again, some of you need to let go of old heartache. Some of you need to let go of traumatic situations that put you in full-blown anxiety when you think about it. Really need to let that go. 
Okay. Yeah. Mm -mm. Thank you. Mm. Let's get one more card, my divine spirit. What? What's, what what else do they need to know? What else do the mutable signs need to know today? Your path will be blindfolded until you are open enough to open up your eyes to see. See from within rather than without use your senses find yourself again be willing to walk be willing to walk through the fire knowing that you will not be touched there isn't any fire but that was the message okay at the bottom of the deck the world card Put yourself in situations to win. Try your best. Don't hold back. Be open to new growth. And don't let people tell you what you cannot do. Okay? And when it comes to your health, you need to become a bit more serious. Mutable signs. I heard Gemini loud, loud and clear. So Gemini, when it comes to your health, you need to be a bit, a lot more serious. Okay, a lot more serious. Next, we have three of wands. Okay. Too much sexual activity is not good for your body. Walk away from things that are hindering you. People, situations, unrequited love, people that just can't fulfill you in the needs that you need them to be met in. Fill yourself. Okay? Try not to stay strung up on a person who does not want you or show you that they want you. It may be a strong like, but it is not love. Walk away from all things that are hindering you. Ooh, I got Gemini again, strongly. It is what it is. Take it as it resonates, my loves. So, I'm going to only be using one more deck today, which will be the Soul Coaching Oracle card deck. What do we have for the mutable signs, my divine higher self? <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay. Pleasure. My life is deliciously joy. Joyous. My life is deliciously joyous. Okay. Card meaning, enjoy yourself. Dance through your life and give toasts for no reason at all. Cherish your sensuality and sexuality. Your soul wants you to know in today's society, we're programmed to believe that pleasure is forbidden. Only permitted in small amounts or should always come after work. Do you postpone good times because you are too busy fulfilling work commitments? Do you deny yourself joyful experiences because there's not enough time or it seems selfish? Stop. Your spirit needs pleasure. It's the soul's way of replenishing and revitalizing your life force. Make pampering yourself a priority and you'll have all the energy that you need to create everything you desire. Affirmation. My life is deliciously joyous. All right, beautiful signs. Thank you very much for tuning in. I do appreciate y'all letting me read for you okay let me tap into your energies for those who did for those who usually watch this channel i do appreciate your support i would love the fact if you double tap not even double tap just tap that subscribe button and like it comment share to those who you believe needs to 
receive a message okay yeah i will be back this coming sunday to do the all uh, zodiac sign reading with current energies stay tuned peace and love